Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are some romances with the I hate everyone in the world but you trope. I do have one previous recommendation video with this trope. I will link it down below if you would like even more recommendations. So here are 10 recommendations with the I hate everyone in the world but you. One of my favorite tropes ever. First, I have his Tesoro by Emilia Rossi. This is a mafia romance and these two characters meet on their wedding day. The heroine has a chronic illness that is very similar to my own. And so the first time they meet, she's actually wheeling herself down the aisle in a wheelchair. And the hero is a big time mafia boss man. And he does everything at first, not at first, because he like doesn't really want a wife. But once he gets to know the heroine, he does everything possible to make her as comfortable as possible. And man, the way these two fall in love is so stick and sweet, but he literally hates everyone. Like he hates everybody and he cannot stand that this woman this tiny little like sweet as heck woman got under his skin and he fell in love with her like he's he's eating her baked goods all the time he bought her a dog she said one time that she wanted a dog like he'll do everything for her but then he'll also like kill someone who touches her so <laughs> next i have two books in the same series um the what's the series called they're by emily mcintyre i've only read the first two books in the series but they're um like disney retellings but with like villains you know um so first one is hooked which is a peter pan retelling it's like a hook and wendy situation dark romance um wendy is actually the daughter to peter pan who is hook's sworn enemy and hook and wendy actually i believe meet at a club one night and they headed off but then hook realizes who wendy actually is and who her father is who is his sworn enemy has literally made his life a living hell and he has decided to like seek retribution because he believes that she is in on like ruining his life and she has she has no idea what's going on no idea but then he starts falling in love with her obviously and would burn down the world for her and again hates everyone but her couldn't care less about anyone else. Even when he doesn't like her, even when he thinks he hates her, he still hates everyone but her. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to just, I, I don't know how else to say that, but it's true, but it's true. Um, and so the next one in the series is Scarred, which also has this trope in it. This one's a Lion King retelling where our Scar character takes his brother, Michael's fiance as his own to, kind of messy up his life he wants to get michael off the throne and this is one way that he's gonna do it is to take his fiance um but little does like scar know that maybe the fiance isn't 100 about michael anyway so these two just become like the baddest couple ever like bad a couple like i ugh, i love them so much and um <laughs> he definitely hates every single freaking person again another character of like i start out hating you but I also do love you at the same time. Next, I have another Mafia one. This is Darkest Sands by Neva Altaj, which is her ninth book in a Perfectly Imperfect series. And these books can be read as standalones. Like, you're fine reading them as standalones. This is a stalker romance. So our heroine is Nira and our hero is Kai. Kai actually ends up getting, I believe, either shot or stabbed one night and he's in this alley basically bleeding out he's gonna die and the heroine ends up saving his life she comes across him as she's walking home from work and she's like oh no she ends up bringing him back to the vet clinic that she works at no one else is there and ends up stitching him up patching him up and from that point on he ends up stalking her and they kind of fall in love with each other while he's stalking her this man doesn't even know what love is like he i think at one point in this book is like i don't know if i love you because i don't know what love feels like what does love feel like and the heroine has to describe it to him and he's like i think i think that's what i feel i have no idea <laughs> just because he's so stone-hearted and he's experienced so much trauma in his life um that he's kind of become this cold statue killer because he is also a hired assassin um so he was on one of his like hired jobs when he got hurt so i have another dark read for you this is kill switch by penelope douglas i do recommend reading these books in order even though this is book number three you need to read them in order i read all the books in order to get to this one you'd be so lost if you did not read them in order because there is an overarching plot line going on. This is the romance between Damon and Winter. You got a little bit of a glimpse into what happened to them in book number one. I can't spoil this book. I cannot. I uh, <laughs> just know that Winter is now visually impaired. She is now blind. She didn't used to be. Something happened um, when she was a child 
and Damon has something to do with that occurrence and they have kept their distance for quite a while but something happens at the beginning of this book where Damon realizes all bets are off I'm going to make this woman mine and it, Damon has also experienced some other things in previous books that has him like hating the entire world and the entire world hating him and he feels like all he has is winter and all he's gonna do is torture her for the rest of her life that's all he's set out to do that's all he's gonna do but then obviously he realizes that he's in love with her at the same time <laughs> a fan of favorite would definitely be twisted love by anna huang this is the romance between alex and ava so ava has an older brother who actually lives next door to her and her friends her roommates she goes to college and his house is actually right next door to her and her brother's actually going overseas he's a doctor and he asks his best friend alex to take care of his sister like kind of like watch over her while he's gone so alex kind of takes it as far as he possibly can and decides to move in to the house of his best friend and living next to Ava, taking care of her um, to a certain extent that Ava will allow. She doesn't allow much. She does not think she needs a babysitter. She's in college, she's a woman, but she soon realizes like she's like Alex is not leaving her alone. And <laughs> she's like, what do I do in this situation? So she's kind of made this challenge to see what emotions she can get out of this man because he's very cold and stoic and closed off. But through her little project, things happen between the two of them um, that leave you a little breathless, okay? And Alex definitely just, it hates everyone. Hates everyone. Ava thinks that Alex hates her as well, but that could not be further from the truth. I have a monster read, monster fantasy read. This is Song of the Abyss by Emma Hamm. This is the second book in her Whispers of the Deep series. Another series I do recommend reading in order, please. Just because there's overarching plot line going on. So this takes place underwater on this planet that has like torrential hurricanes and thunderstorms happening 24 seven. Like you can literally not live above the water um, without possibly dying. So um, humans have built these underwater city domes on this planet underwater. But there are undines who are like mermaid creatures that are native to the planet and they absolutely hate humans because they've ruined the ocean for them and so this whole series is about these undines trying to get their their land back but this one is about our villain from book number one he was kind of like the villain from book number one and he ends up falling for the human enemy's daughter who is more than willing to portray her father because her father's abusive. There's great disability representation here. Our hero um, has a limb difference. He only has one arm. Our heroine is uh, hard of hearing. She experienced an injury a few years ago because of her father that left her with the inability to hear out of one ear and she has partial hearing loss in the other. And because the hero has a lot of stigma about him because of what happened to him in book number one and what he did, no one really likes him at the moment and he doesn't really like anyone. <laughs> so um, when he's tasked with this mission, he's sort of expecting to kill this woman, but definitely falls in love with her instead. And he, he can't believe it. He cannot believe it. Next I have Hearts Prisoner by Olivia Riley. This is an alien romance. Our heroine is a scientist who studies like other alien creatures and she's been invited to this space station filled with aliens that humans are studying and she gets hired specifically to work with the most dangerous one on the whole entire planet to study it to get to know it to figure out what it wants what it needs all that jazz so the more she studies this alien she realizes how sentient of an alien he like is and the more she wants to help him and they fall in love with each other like through jail bars basically like they fall for each other it's really good that's only like the first part of the book though there's more going on in book in the second part um but I don't want to spoil it for you. Evil Twin by Katie Wilde is like a shorter book. This is a fantasy romance. It starts out with our hero who has a twin. Okay, he is an identical twin who is the king of this land and he is set to marry this beautiful princess and finally get his queen. But our hero of the story, um, who was born just a few seconds too late to be king, thinks that his brother is absolutely awful. He takes all the credit for him and what he's done for their, their country, for their land. He is kind of like the captain of the guard, the leader of the armies and he has conquered many people saved his people his brother is basically taking credit for everything doesn't think that he's going to be a good ruler so he's decided to basically f up his life and he's going to seduce his fiance <laughs> um and pretend that like he's his brother because they're identical and they've never met before so that's how this book starts and it gets even wilder as you read like there are plot twists in here like you wouldn't expect in this little book also look at this back this is our couple 
okay? There's like way more going on in here. That's literally just like chapter one that happens with, and I can't say anything else because that will definitely spoil it. And then I also have another novella, my last book. This is When She's Weary by Ruby Dixon. And this is our only book probably on this list where the heroine hates everyone in the world, but the hero. This book takes place on the planet Resta 3, which is a farm planet that a lot of human refugees have gone to in Rubyverse and Ruby's books. And the hero meets the heroine in a very <laughs> funny situation. And he basically goes knocking at her at her door because of like an emergency that's happening and the heroine believes that the hero is out to like kill her so she basically tasers him till he blacks out <laughs> and that's how they meet and he's like smitten right from the get-go he's like this giant alien cat looking creature kind of he is just gonna go sit on her doorstep every day to like talk to her make her feel comfortable with him finally the heroine has experienced quite a lot of trauma in her life because she was a human slave and she finally got out of that life but she's not like mentally gone out of that life you know what i mean so yeah she's gone through a lot but then she realizes very slowly that this man this alien man is just wanting her and wanting to love her and he's so stick and sweet he's like the sweetest little bean ever anyways there you have it those are some romances with the i hate everyone in the world but you trope let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to and if you don't feel like commenting any of those things you can leave me the uh, pink sparkly heart emoji but anyways thank you all so so much for watching i will see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all